Yeah, well, welcome to the Bugwick Historical Microcomputer Museum here in Floyd, Virginia. Well, of course, we're very pleased and proud to have as our museum collection four original Apple I computers. We don't keep them here in the museum. We keep them in the bank vault uh, downtown at the bank. But I brought them out today for the photo shoot. And um, people always ask, uh, how did you acquire four Apple I computers? Well, the story is a bit long, but the short of the story is I didn't do it yesterday. I've been collecting computers for 40 years. I advertised for many years, probably 25 years, uh, that I wanted uh, pre-1980 computers. And these Apple Ones, I was offered about 10 Apple Ones over that period. And these four I bought in the early 90s, over 20 years ago. And at that time, Apple One computers were selling between 10 and $30,000. They were kind of expensive even then, of course, much more now. They're all in very nice condition. Uh, this one here I bought from John Birch, who had, it, had bought it with a case, and we're going to show you the case in a minute. It's a very pristine computer with no modifications, beautiful Apple One, and uh, we bought that from John, John Birch. This Apple One is just an Apple One board. You notice that there's no chips in it. I had a call from a fellow. Uh, Dustin, and he said, I've got two Apple Ones. And I thought it was probably a spoof call. This was around 1995 as well. He said, right, I don't want to sell them right now, but he said, at some point I do. Would you be interested? I said, well, I'd certainly like to talk to you. So I kind of buzzed it off as being a, just a crank call. He called me up about a year later, and he said, well, David, he said, uh, I've got two kids in college. I need some money. He said, um, I've got the two computers. I said, great. I said, how much you want for them? He gave me a figure, and I said, well, I can't do quite that much. I can't pay for all your kids going to school. But uh, <laughs> we did agree on a price, and I got both computers, and they're very nice. Um, so we call these the Dustin computers. By the way, all of our computers are on the Apple registry, uh, Mike Willigal's Apple registry. And um, they're all pretty much original. And I say pretty much, we did substitute a couple of parts on one. Very nice computer. This one has a little bit of mod on it, or addition, no modification, but a beautiful specimen. And uh, this one here is also one of the ones I bought from Dustin. And Wynn Hagee, up in Leesburg, Virginia, has just restored this to working condition. This Apple One computer is the one I bought from Mr. Birch, John Birch. Said it's a beautiful specimen of an Apple one computer with no modifications, just a very nice specification. Uh, of course, I've taken it out of the case. When I bought it, it came in this case. Beautiful uh, example of a case. Here's the power transformers and so forth that power the computer and a keyboard up here that plugs into it. So it's a functioning computer.